I'm a board certified general and robotic surgeon. Uh, most of my practice is hernias. Just to keep it simple, a hernia is an abnormal bulge. It's a bulge in your most common in your groin or in your belly button. You see a little, all of a sudden you have an Audi and that's a pretty much a hernia. One of the most common causes of hernia is chronic cough, constipation, or lifting kind of light or moderate weight in awkward positions like moving that couch around the corner, lifting up trying to put a cabinet together, or even it's a typical in CrossFit type things where you're doing kettlebells and swinging them from side to side. A hernia in your belly button, in your groin, are what's most common. Or incisional hernias, if you had an operation where you had a big cut and after the cut you see a bulge popping out, it's probably an incisional type hernia. There's so many different approaches to operating on hernias. Uh, there's an open approach in the groin, we can cut and put a mesh in. There's an open approach in the belly button or in the midline part of the abdomen. Uh, there's a laparoscopic approach, and then there's a robotic approach. So there's really three main approaches to fixing a hernia. The recovery time, so what I tell patients is, I wait, I make them wait three days before they return to normal activity, and I usually have them uh, back to work in about a week. And I operate on some high caliber ice hockey players, and uh, I, I tell them two weeks and you can be back on the ice full tilt. Technology has advanced us. Uh, robotic surgery, if I can do your groin hernia on a Friday and you're back to work on Monday and I really limit the amount of time that you have as a downtime. I mean, I operate on a lot of people that come from the city so they have a very busy schedule. And you have very busy moms out there who, and very busy dads who have soccer practice and this and that. I think technology has allowed us to go to the next level with that. And I, I think that's the most compelling thing. Robotic surgery has significantly reduced the amount of opioids in my practice. For example, I did a study of the first 150 groin hernias that I did robotically. And there were some that I had to do open because they've had multiple abdominal surgeries. So I compared the amount of opioids that were prescribed. Usually between 40 and 60 pills were taken from a person who had an open inguinal hernia repair. And now in my practice of the 150, one person took more than 10 and almost everybody takes zero. I, I don't even prescribe opioids anymore when I do robotic inguinal hernia. I send them home on extra strength Tylenol and no one asks me for pain meds.